Hey there, Internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another episode of What I Feel Like Friday. Today I am doing another uh, very kind of niche episode. Uh, it is another Phoenix uh, Theater area review. Um, I went and just got home from a production of Silence the Musical, which is a very tongue-in-cheek parody uh, adaptation of Silence of the Lambs, uh, set to music. Uh, such numbers including... Um, let me see. Let me pull up the... Uh, Silence is one. Uh, you have This Ish It uh, by Clarice with her, her lovely little lisp. Uh, if I Could Smell Her Cunt was certainly one that uh, that kind of made a couple appearances throughout the show. Um, lots of very funny stuff in here. Um, I've never even actually seen Silence of the Lambs. I am familiar with, you know, iconic imagery of the movie, but I've never actually seen the film uh, itself. I have seen Hannibal, weirdly enough, the sequel. Uh, it came out later and had uh, Julianne Moore instead of... Uh, uh, um, from Panic Room, Jodie Foster. There we go. Instead of Jodie Foster. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun, um, uh, despite not having seen the movie. Um, the person I was with... Very uh, big fan of the movie, planning on going back with her mom because they, they both love the movie. And she leaned over at me at one point and was like, they're doing, like, it, this whole scene is, like, verbatim from the movie, but it was, like, done with um, kind of, uh, uh, a, like, a set of absurdity alongside it. Um, a lot of fun, great performances, great humor kind of uh, thro throughout. Uh, the, the film, or the, the play basically has um, uh, three actors portraying uh, Clarice, Hannibal Lecter and Buffalo Bill, uh, and then uh, a set of five other performers kind of playing a chorus of interchangeable parts, including the lambs of the, uh, of the film, the titular lambs of Silence of the Lambs. Um, they definitely have a lot of fun with it. Uh, the, the cast was up there having a great time. Uh, you could tell that from, from their performance. And uh, the audience was cracking up as well, except like a couple of guys in front of us who I don't think knew what they were getting into and were just like, what is so funny about this? Um, but I had a great time. Again, even though I haven't seen the movie, um, uh, they, they do the, like the play does a great job kind of um, really just hitting home the things you need to know from the movie. Um, but I imagine if I had seen the movie, I imagine I probably would have gotten even more out of it. Um, so that's kind of a, uh, a cue. If you have the ability to go see Silence of the Lambs before you see Silence of the Musical, probably recommend it. It'll probably be better if it's fresh in your mind and, uh, and you are seeing it with that set of eyes. But uh, even if you haven't, um, like I myself, not a huge fan of horror, so it's not something I've ever really delved into, suspense, thriller, or whatever. Um, uh, and so, yeah, I... I um, have not seen it, but I, I still had a great old time. So, um, uh, shout out to my friends over at Stray Cat Theater for putting this thing on. It runs till May 19th. If you are in the Phoenix area and watching this, um, I would highly recommend checking it out. Good old time. It is, uh, Silence the Musical, book by Hunter Bell, music and lyrics by John and Al Kaplan, directed by Louis Farber. Boom. Silence the Musical. May 4th through May 19th, 2018 over at the Tempe Center for the Arts. Uh, definitely check it out. Uh, and then, yeah, that's, those are my thoughts on that show. I uh, had a good time. It's only an hour and a half uh, with no intermission, so it really breezes right through. Um, and, yeah, it was a good time. Check it out. So those are my thoughts on Silence the Musical. Let me know uh, what movie you would like to see kind of adapted into a musical on the stage, uh, no matter how outlandish it may sound. As always, I've been your host, Trevor Starkey, from trevortrove.com. You can follow me at Snarky Starkey on Twitter. And until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.